If you understand this logic, you will know why prompt engineer is a big lie. Since GPT was published, I've been thinking about what's the effect on average people who don't know how to code or have a technical background. If we think about the past couple technology revolutions, it creates countless opportunities and a pathway to success. But those opportunities are reserved for people who with technology background. For average people, they only have a chance to witness and buy their product, but not participate. In. Since AI revolution, it pushes everybody to a new life turning point opportunities. Will average people still be only witness, even get replaced by AI? After a few months research, I finally find worth sharing answer. This time, everybody have a chance to be part of the new opportunities. Because one thing, natural language processing. In this video, I'm gonna share to you what is natural language processing, why prompt engineer is a lie, who will be left behind, and how can we catch the opportunity the AI age leave us. The invention of the computer and programming languages is always to help humans to solve some problem. In the beginning, it was invented for us to decode Nazis' communications. Turing built the Turing machine. It was so effective to decode their messages. They even have to let Nazis to attack a couple of their own boat so the powerful machine wouldn't cause any suspicions. Twelve torpedoes fired at close range struck HMS Barham. The stricken battleship... And in the beginning, they using call machine languages, which is all one and zero is really hard to understand. You really need to dig down on the machinery parts. When the industry developed more and more, we start having called assembly languages. What make Bill Gates and Apple, this kind of giant company rich. They start having English to program. However, they're still using the old machines logic. Then fast forward a little bit more, come to today what programming are. We call this high-level languages. It creates so many apps. It makes our life more efficient. It makes our life have more fun. It helps to connect people together. However, one day, some revolutionary technology emerged into society, and it suddenly made everybody into programmer, which is AI. <laughs> February 20th, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman published this tweet. He said, prompt is amazing, highly leveraged skill, and it shows the early example of programming in natural languages. Even months earlier than that, the chief AI officer for Elon Musk, Andrew Karpathy, even tweeted this. The hottest new programming languages is English. Because so many people ask him a question, he even provide a couple follow-up. What specific is natural language programming? Just like a sound. By you typing English and state clearly what you needed and wanted, he can provide you code to achieve whatever solution you should build. There is even example online. People use iOS shortcut and connect to GPT, this kind of model, to create their own smart appliance or smart home furniture. When they publish how they did it, it's not lines of codes, but simple English. Which means as long as you speak English clearly or use translator to speak English clearly, you have ability to create your own product, to solve some issue that you see in day-to-day -day life that outsiders don't even know existing and sell them for money. If you're familiar with the venture capital field and the startup field, you will know there's a big trend of people solving specific issue and sell the solution for money. For example, one of the brand new superstar called Stripe. If you purchase anything the past two months, the chances you use in Stripe is almost 100%. What it does is before to collect payment for shops is really hard or set up the financial system is really difficult. So they build an easy shortcut for shop owner to collect payments. Right now, like Shopify, Amazon, or those company is utilized Stripe. 
but nobody know that problem even exists. But if you think about your daily life in your career, there are so many problems on the daily that make you feel head itching. Maybe you can utilize GPT to solve such a problem and sell them for money. Even this is an opportunity for everybody, there still will be a lot of people left behind and they will have a one comment is they're using the rule of old world to apply in the new age. What do I mean by that? For example, people who grew up in the blue color age were using the same logic for their white color job. As long as I grind, work long hour, trying really, really hard and have a, a skill, I'm all set. But in reality is lots of people never learn any new knowledge after they graduate college, choose a sunset industry, and the direct result is the more busy they get, the less they earn, the less the life quality they have, the less the potential they have. So what is the outdated idea in the white collar job world that we cannot apply in the AI age? For example, lots of people are encourage people to become a prone engineer. But that is uh, clearly non-translatable. In the white color job world, what most people earning money is because of their skills, either programming or painting or, or analyzing data. Inevitable, it have a consequences, which is you are not the only one who have the skill. You are replaceable. So if more and more people having their skills, your earning will be decreasing. That's the reason why so many programmers right now is freaking out because more and more people can use their English to program. Programming this skill no longer worth anything. But there will be something irreplaceable. Let's call it a ability for now. For example, before Stephen Jobs created Apple, all the uh, salespeople, marketers, developers are there. Why there's not Apple? because they are waiting for someone who have this ability, coordinated all the skill together to create a product, to create a great company. Stephen Jobs in this example is irreplaceable. He's a person with abilities. For painters, know how to paint, control your muscle to paint something accurately is a skill, but the aesthetic, the taste, the style is ability. For programmers, knowing the languages, what is a Python, what is loop, is a skill. Solving the problem through the code, have a clear logic, is ability. For everybody, speaking English is a skill. that Everybody can speak English, but make people listen and make people interested in what you're gonna say is ability. If you understand this logic, you will clearly see Prompt engineer is just a big lie. If someone who only pursued prompt engineer, you will end up left behind. Because if I have the eye to find the problem and the build a solution, I can just watch two hours about prompt engineer and learn how to tinker the machines. If everybody can speak English and I can use English to program, why can't you call yourself an engineer? In the open AI, they build their own courses about prompt engineer. They even mention that majority of the material they see is really superficial or not useful at all. They may give you a big figure on the title to be clickbaity, and they tell you, oh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to learn prompt engineer. Most of them only teach you how to use the user interface of a GPT or other large language models. If you truly want to be a prompt engineer or utilize the power of this large language model, you should really look into coding themselves. They say prompt engineer is a system. There's an idea. If you don't have the eye to find an idea, you fill in the first step. I urge you to actually try to see what's the problem that you experience in your day-to-day -day work or just think about what is something that is not actually replaceable. I see so many programmers freaking out over how they can write code, but they forget their most important asset is clear logic and problem solving abilities. And that will be all for today's video. My name is Paul. Thank you very much for watching till then. I will see you next time. Bye.